In this tutorial, we'll give you a general idea how to start working with audio in Premiere Pro. We'll take a look at adding transitions, more precise editing with the pen tool, adding effects, and then take a look at gain. When I zoom into my track using the plus key, I already see that this has a fade in. But let's assume that our audio didn't have a fade, so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust this and bring the audio track back as if it started out this way. You'll notice when it plays back, it abruptly starts with no fade in. So the quickest way to fix that is using an audio transition in the crossfade folder. The blue highlight indicates under constant power that that's my default setting, and generally that's the one you'll use most of the time. So I'm just going to drag that directly onto the clip the same way you apply a cross dissolve on a video track. They work in much the same way. I'm going to zoom in and try to match these two just by grabbing the edge and dragging it out. Let's go ahead and play this back. And, now I'm ready, ready to shine it. and I think that sounds okay. When you need a more precise adjustment, that's where you can use the pen tool. Let's start by selecting this effect and deleting it, selecting the pen tool, and then going over to the audio clip. And you'll notice when I approach the middle of the clip, a plus sign appears on the pen tool, allowing me to place a point. All I have to do is click in two spots, giving me two points in which I can pull from. I'm going to grab my selection tool and grab a point to make an adjustment. And in this case, I'll just fade it in and hit play. And now I'm ready, ready. You can go back and adjust it anytime you need to. Ready, ready to shine and, I'm only... and you can place as many points as you need to. Again, just grab the pen tool, place a few points on the timeline, grab your selection tool, and then make any adjustment between those two points that you need to. In this case, you can use four points to make a quick dip. These are techniques that you'll use all the time when you need to make precise adjustments to audio. I'm gonna go ahead and just undo all these points and put this back together. Another great way to work with audio is learning about Premiere Pro's audio effects. Let's take a look at a few of them. One of them I use all the time is the multiband compressor. You just simply drag and drop it, go up to your effects controls, and hit edit. When you play the video back, you can actually make audio adjustments in real time. To help make working with audio easier, you'll notice there are presets that are already defined for you. I can play the audio back and switch between the presets as it plays. The presets are a great way to get started and then start to make some of your minor adjustments as you go along. You'll notice on the timeline there's a purple effects badge which is telling you that an effect has been applied. To remove the effect is fairly easy. All you have to do is go up to your effects controls, select the effect, and hit delete. And now you'll notice the effects badge is gray, indicating that no effect has been applied. There's also some effects you can use to create some pretty interesting audio effects. Seeing that we've got a scene underwater, let's add an underwater effect using the phaser effect. Let's zoom in a bit so I can get a better look at this clip. And I'll use my razor blade to make cuts right where this clip starts and stops. Now I can just apply the effect directly to this portion of the audio clip. From my effects panel, I'm just gonna type in the word phaser and I see it right here. I'm gonna drag and drop it on the portion that I cut, hit my edit, and you'll notice in this particular effect, I also have a lot of presets and one of the presets says underwater. Let's see what this sounds like. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody say super. And you'll quickly see there's some great audio effects that you can use to enhance your audio on the timeline. The last thing I'll show you is how to quickly adjust the gain on your timeline with a numeric value. I'll go ahead and remove the effect that I just added. So when I adjust the gain, it'll adjust it for the whole audio clip. In many cases, you'll want to adjust your gain when you first lay it down on your audio track to start it at a base level. 
To get to the audio gain control, all you have to do is to select your audio clip that you want to adjust the gain, hit the G on the keyboard, and let's adjust the gain by 2 dB. And when I click OK, you'll notice that the waveform adjusted itself, indicating that a change was made. You can see visually that the levels on this waveform appear to be OK. If needed, you can actually enter positive or negative values to get your audio to the desired level needed for your project. And now you have a general idea how to start working with audio in Premiere Pro.